G'day mates, Rising Fun Gaming back with another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter 4 on the 3DS. Today we're going to take on the very first exploration hunt slash survey thingy. We're going to be going to look for a Dos Ramposu. In the English versions I believe he is called the Velocipray. Okay, we're going to have a bit of a tutorial section, so I'm going to translate my little heart out. Here we go. Are your preparations taken care of, our group member? With much determination, let's begin the survey. Okay, I will explain exploration one more time simply. Exploration involves the investigation of regions unexplored by the guild, for example, exploring this unknown expanse of woodland. The aim is to discover monsters that inhabit the regions and report any information back to the guild. Whilst you are surveying around, proceeding steadily, Preparations will be made to arrange a cart for your collection at the finishing area. If you get on the cart, the exploration will be finished and you can return home. If something should happen to you, it is essential that you try to reach the exploration finishing area. Should you be KO'd in the middle of an exploration, you will be returned to the starting point. However, this does not make you fail the quest. Hmm, interesting. But, having said that, does not give you a free pass to be... careless. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's the sum of it. Alrighty, I don't know whether you will bump into a monster during your surveys, but in any case, your goal is to journey to the finishing pickup area. By the way, this is the only kind of map we have for the Unknown Woodlands. In truth, it is kinda special, huh? <laughs> it is quite different to the one you use during normal quests. It is, how shall I say, a vague diagram of the vicinity. Oh, I can see a crude map on the bottom screen. Something that very roughly shows the directions. So, if you want to know your rough position, it is advisable for you to try to discern it from the map. Okay, all understood. Thank you very much. Okay, we can go off into the unexplored lands. Might just check out the camp area. We've got a little pickup area. What is it? I wonder. Taimatsu. Okay, that is a torch. And I cannot pick up any more torches, it is telling me. Very cool. Alrighty. Get out of this ducking stance. What am I doing? Have a little look around. Of course, we're not going to have the supply drops. It's an exploration mission, so yeah, let's get out of here. Wow, really beautiful scenery. This is the first little area, and we see some Meraru black cats. Oh, and we've got some information there. Okay, it's saying that I have come across one Meraru and it did not give me any exploration points because we already know what that is and it is a well documented species already. Um, so one of the cats, the black ones are called Meraru and the white ones are called Airu, whether they're your friends or the um, wild kind, the wild variety. So again, here we go. Oh, it's telling me I've come across two Meraru and exploration points um, or survey points is still at zero because they're not very interesting to the guild, it appears. And oh, and here is an Airu, the white one. And still, again, no points for my efforts. Not surprising, I guess. Now, we've got a little shiny. Manmaru Donguri, that would be a perfectly round acorn. <laughs> Yay! Okay, interesting. The Aidu really like them apparently. Okay, what is this weird looking pitcher plant looking thing? Nenchaku grass. So sticky grass. Some medical herbs. Okay, nothing too exotic or new at this point. Hey! He stole my mega potion. And I got it back. <laughs> Excelente. Have another look. Let's see if we can't find anything new. Geroku saw. The medical herb. So we had an antidote leaf. Again, we're not finding anything too new at this point. Oh, meatball stamp. <laughs> cool. 
I believe I could probably use that at... What would I use that for? A meatball stamp, I wonder. Either at the kitchen or probably... I don't know, maybe as an ingredient for smithing? I don't know. What is this shiny? Okay, like emergency medicine. Nothing too exotic. I guess we'll have a little bit more of a walk around. I don't want to spend too much time showing exploration. Um, however, when we do come across the exotic new enemy who we all know and love as the Ramposu in Japanese or the Velocipray in English, I will definitely cut through to that. I'm guessing this isn't too exciting. <laughs> Although the architecture looks pretty interesting. We've got some sort of ancient race happening or something. <laughs> hmm. Very cool. Ah, oh, looks different. But again, I want to find this Velocipray. Another no through road. A funny looking mushroom. I'll disregard it for now. Let's see what's around the corner. Looking at this map, this looks like I'm gonna come to the end. Yep. Alright, next. Ah, here we go. The Monster Hunter staple. Uh oh. And there it is. Oh, -ho, talk about rare. It is extremely unlikely to spot a Dosu Ramposu in these parts. This is great. All right, so now I'll explain how to report the results of your investigations to the guild. For monster discoveries of interest to the guild, the way to report includes, well, it's a matter of course that you will need to provide some sort of proof. Proof primarily takes one of two forms. The defeat of a large monster that you have that you have found, or gaining a dropped item from said large monster. These types of proof are routinely submitted to the guild. With the assessment of these types of information, the guild is able to better understand the monster inhabitants of that area. Of course, if there were more hunters around, we would be able to better evaluate these areas. Okay, with that said, I have one word of warning. These areas differ to quest areas in that fleeing monsters have a chance of disappearing from the region altogether. Oh god. Don't like that. So when hunting monsters here, make sure to hunt wisely. Hmm, indeed. That's about the sum of it. The decision to hunt or disregard this Dos Rampos will depend on your circumstances. If you feel that you are not able to handle the fight right now, don't stand around puzzled. Rather, make for the finishing area. Alright. Here we go, fight time. I'm taking one straight into the next, straight up, I love that. Again, today we are wielding the touchy, the long blade. And we've got a party of Rampos, and the big one being called the Dos Rampos. I wonder what I have to do to satisfy the exploration quest. What sort of information do they want? Do they want me to kill it or do they want me just to chip something off it? Or perhaps both bits of information. Okay, really loving this sword. Super fun to use. Okay, take... Oh, yes! Taking it two at once. And, oh, I can see some information. We have gained, well, we have killed or downed two Rampos, and I believe that was at 10 points. So we're getting exploration points for these guys. Okay, and three down now at 15 points. So five points each for the lesser or small Rampos. Very interesting to know. Alrighty, come get me, buddy. <laughs> oh, got him in the beak. That's a nice one. Oh, <laughs> nice dodge, matey. But not that time. Oh, and just a little jab for death and win. We've got four down, 20 points. 
Don't know how those points are going to serve me. Oh, and Gravy, you little boss. Nice job, man. Sidestepping his way. All right, take this. This one. Oh, wow, and his crown just got shattered. Beautiful. Okay, we've got a shiny. I wonder if this is going to satisfy a quest condition. Oh, here we go. Oh, Splendid, the guild will now be informed of your survey results. On top of that, it seems some valuable information was gained. I hear that the guild is arranging a handsome bonus for the hunter that renders such great service. So from now on and into the future, the guild looks forward to gaining valuable information. Cool. So it looks like I've picked up a Rampos scale. Excellent, and we've downed six of the other guys. It's really good. Ooh. Oh, he's stepping on me! You nasty devil. <laughs> Paid back in kind. And looks like my cat's afflicted you with some sort of... something. Oh, and he's fleed. Okay, hopefully it's not for good, because they warned us of that just before, didn't they? Alright, let's cure up. Hmm. Well, I guess there's pretty much only one way to go, and that would be forward. So hopefully, he's hiding just around the corner. I would die if I didn't get the chance to, to kill him for good and get some nice, nice loots, materials from him. All right. Ah, there he is. I see ya. Cool. He's having a bit of a snooze, huh? All right, I guess this gives me a little bit of a chance to get some stamina going. Cool, cool. All right, time for a bit of a wake-up call, I think. Make sure it's a good one with a sharpened weapon. In we go. And rise and shine. <laughs> Calling for backup. I don't know if he's going to get any because perhaps there's not one of those little nests in this bit of the map. Okay, slice a ruse. Let's slice this guy into oblivion. He's looking rather sad with his broken crown. I'm a little lucky to not get done with that. <laughs> you are awesome, dude. You're just tapping away. Pause of Fury. Ouch! That's smart. Although not too much. I think this lower level Rumpos is no match for my... Ouch. <laughs> for my new Monster Frog armor. Oh, that must hurt too. Okay, i got to really check my proximity to this guy. He's starting to get quite a few hits off. We can't have that. Not showing many signs of injury or slowing down apart from his head. Hopefully we're not too far away from downing this sucker. Oh, that missed by the tiniest bit. And it's said that another bit of information has been submitted to the guild. Ah, because he has been killed. Excellent. Nice, he is down and we just got a Talon. Rampos Talon, Rampos Hide and... Next is another Talon. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, I might have another bit of an exploration and come back to you a bit later. Great, you've arrived. This here is the finishing area. I expect there to be a cart over there. Should you board it, you will be able to go home. Thanks for your tireless efforts. Take care on your journey home. I'll be waiting for you here in Barubare. Great. All right, looks like this is the last bit of area. These are all the items I've picked up. I'm not going to go through them too much, but yeah, a whole bunch of mushrooms, ores, some seeds and grasses, and all sorts of nice stuff, in addition to my lovely gains from that umpos. So this is a really beautiful looking area, isn't it? That would be my cart home, and oh, that's convenient. A nice bit of mobile meat over there, should I need it? <laughs> Excellent. Alright, might set up a nice little 
parting shot. Okay, that looks pretty good. We've got the uh, rainbow in the background. Beautiful. Hopefully we can get some um, flamingos flying in the background. But yeah, what a nice natural setting and a nice way to end the video. Oh, there they are. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for joining me once again. This has been Rising Fun Gaming, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.